How do we know the Earth is round? Well, it's not actually, but that doesn't mean that it's flat either. We have known for centuries that the Earth is kind of round. Even ancient Greek philosopher and scientist Aristotle wrote about it in the 4th century BC. He noted that in sailors' reports, when ships disappeared over the horizon, their hulls would vanish first while the mast remained in view, a clear sign of a curved surface. Being roughly spherical is part of what makes a planet a planet. It's pulled by its own gravity into a rounded shape. But not all planets are perfect spheres. Some are squashed and stretched by extreme forces. One example is WASP-12b, a planet that's shaped more like a rugby ball. In the 18th century, there was a long-running debate as to what shape the Earth really was. English physicist Isaac Newton predicted that it should be flattened at the poles like an orange, whereas some parts of the French Academy of Sciences argued that it was more elongated like a lemon. To resolve this question, France funded two expeditions, one to the equator in South America and another to Lapland. The South American team faced serious challenges, including the murder of their expedition surgeon. But the expedition demonstrated that international competition and collaboration can result in real scientific progress. Newton's orange hypothesis was ultimately confirmed. Modern satellite measurements have made this picture more precise. We now know that the Earth isn't a perfect orange, but its mass is spread more unevenly. We call this more mathematically exact shape the geoid, which is a bit more lumpy, like a potato.